it's a beautiful campus first and foremost. I mean, if, if any of you guys have ever been there, that place is, I mean, it's just a beautiful campus just to be on and, um, you know, the architecture and things like that. It's just, it's just a cool place and there's not a lot of college campuses like it. Definitely more of a small school feel, um, not a lot around there. Um, and, you know, not necessarily for everybody, but, you know, from visiting it and just being around there, you know, I thought it was really cool. Um, and then obviously, ton of tradition behind their program. Um, you know, as far as the history of football, one of the better programs there have ever been. Um, and then just just like the game day environments there, uh, really, really passionate, loyal fans. Um, and you know that was that was actually, I think that was the first school I ever visited. So I think that probably made a big impact on me. And then that coupled with the fact that Ohio State w at the time wouldn't offer me, so that you know that was that was my uh, second choice for sure. I've heard some fans um, that are concerned that Ohio State might not be motivated for this game because you guys aren't in the college football playoff. When you hear that, do you kind of laugh at that, or do you feel like yeah. there's some validity in that? Or was no, not at that? all. I mean. Yeah, I get that. You know, there was a lot of people that said national championship or bust, and you know, that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, but for us, I mean, this this is a huge game. You know, I I kind of told I actually told myself like if we don't make it in the playoff, I want to play Notre Dame. Um, tons of talent on their team, and it's a huge game. And um, you know, just like when we were you know coming off the Michigan State loss, and we had to respond and and play well, um, even though we didn't necessarily control our destiny and may not get in the playoff like we wanted to. You know, we have, if, if you don't respond and you don't play well in those games, you're phony, your whole, the whole culture of your program is just, it's a lie, basically. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying we're guaranteed to win a game or anything like that, but just how you respond and if you come out and you compete and you play hard, um, I think is a good indicator. And it would be the 50th win for the senior class. I imagine that's, that, that would be a huge motivator for you guys. I think it's the most in Ohio State history if you win. Yeah, I mean, it, we, we, I've been fortunate and, you know, my teammates that I came in here with and, you know, a couple of the guys that were here prior to Coach Meyer arriving, and we've been fortunate to kind of get this program back on course because there's a little rough patch there. Um, been through a lot, got to do a lot of cool things, and you know that would kind of be the icing on the cake to go out with uh, not only a, a win against a quality opponent, but you know, 50 wins in four years. It's pretty amazing. From what you've seen, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. What you've seen of Notre Dame defensively, what what do you see? Uh, what jumps out at them uh, that you're going to have to be ready for here in a couple? They're days? fairly similar to a team up north. Uh, they, you know, they they play four down, they'll, but they'll bump to odd. Um, but I think the thing they have is. You know, they have some really big time players on that defense. Um, you know, everybody knows about Jalen Smith and Sheldon Day. You know, they just got, you know, high caliber players, you know, just like we have, you know. I'm sure a lot of the players that went there could have came here and vice versa. Um, so, like I said, there's just going to be talent all over the field and it's going to be make for a really competitive um, and I think physical game. Taylor, this is not a playoff game, mm -hmm. but does it feel like it to you all? And I, I, you just said that you, know, you wanted to play Notre Dame. Yeah. Is that a reason why? Because you know these are two teams that are good enough to be in the playoffs and to be championship contenders. Is that maybe the hook that this will you all will treat this? Yeah. Like kind of a form? I mean, this is like this is my last game, so this is a championship game for me. I I think all the you know New Year's Six games, regardless of if you're in the playoff or not, I don't think they've lost any luster, just because you're not going to be playing for the championship, and. If we weren't, like I said, if we weren't to perform well, or we come out just kind of um, lazy, and uh, it just it just be reflective that our that our program is is phony, and you know that's just not the case. Um, you know, and I'm excited for this game. You know, this is an opportunity, and uh, I think a, something really cool that I've noticed is in practice and bowl practice. Like we're not playing a game, you know, until January basically, and. There's as much energy in practice and enthusiasm in practice as there has been all year. Um, you know, really competitive guys just enjoying playing football. Um, so I think that's really exciting for me to see going into this game. Taylor, is it kind of the opposite of what Dave asked you? You know, he said, mm -hmm. is the disappointment going to be sort of an, a lack of, provide a lack of motivation? But can you use that to create what Urban calls an angry football team? I mean, you've got that, you've got. Mm -hmm. Zeke being eighth in the Heisman race and Joey Bosa overlooked by some. Is this going to be an angry football team, perhaps? Um, I mean, I, I guess you could say, I guess you could say that. I think, you know, the, the biggest thing that comes from us losing that game is just you really take a hard look in the mirror and see the things you did wrong and the things you need to improve upon in order to 
play at the level that you're capable of. Um, so, you know, ang you know, angry football team, maybe, maybe not. Um, but a football team that's performing better, 100%, yes.